In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to bump for a base hit from the right side. So the biggest thing here is we want the defense to think that we are swinging away the entire time. So the difference between a bump for a base hit um, or some others call it a drag bunt, push bunt, versus a sacrifice bunt is on a sacrifice bunt, when the pitcher starts her motion, we're already gonna square up. And so this is no secret to the defense. They should know you're bunting. Your job is to get the bunt down in order to get that runner to the next base. On a bump for a base hit, we are showing at the last possible second. So when you're set up, you're gonna act like you're swinging away. When the pitcher releases, and this is on average, when the ball's maybe about halfway, you're gonna go ahead and start to turn. So this should be one continuous motion. And what I mean by that is we don't wanna square, stay there for even a second, hit and then go. It should be all one motion from when we square to when we bunt to when we run. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna set up you're gonna go ahead, square up. Right when you square, and let's say when your left foot hits, the ball should be hitting your bat and you should be making your way to first base. So just a little bit faster, you square, you hit, and you go. So it's continuous, kind of like how slappers do it on the left side. Once their feet start, they don't stop in order to help them get a little head start to first base. We're doing the same thing on the right side, we're just not crossing our feet. We wanna make sure too that we're not sprinting through the box, we just wanna make sure we've got quick feet so we're transitioning quick with our feet and we're getting our barrel out in front. So when the barrel is out in front, the ball is gonna hit and we're gonna go. Make sure that when you, when you um, come around, your knob is going straight to your left hip. We don't wanna go all the way around. You've got a uh, quick transition with your feet. Your barrel's a little bit higher than your hands. We don't want barrel lower than our hands because we're gonna get under the ball. And then we're holding the bat with our index thing, finger and our thumb about right here, making sure this top hand has complete control. So one more time, the ball is released, it's about halfway. We're gonna go ahead, transition quick with our feet, get our barrel in front, hit, and then make our way to first base. And this is what it'll look like full speed.